I'm Stacy Gordon. Welcome to That's My Jam. It's summertime and it's too hot to fire up the stove. This is one of my favorite times of year to use a crock pot. Today I'm going to show you a recipe that's super quick and easy. You can throw it in the crock pot in the morning, go do your day, come home, and dinner is done. This is a sweet pulled pork dish. I sweeten it with orange marmalade and we level that out a little bit with some brown mustard. After we make this, I'll give you a few different examples on how to serve this and I'll show you one of my favorite. Let's get started. I'm gonna start out with a nice three pound pork tenderloin. Got that in my crock pot. I'm gonna add a very minimal amount of water, about a quarter cup. Little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. Now I'm going to start an inch or so from the edge of the tenderloin and I'm going to cut a slice all the way to the other end, again leaving about an inch on both ends. I'm not trying to cut this in half, I'm just trying to cut a nice deep trench in the tenderloin. Next I'm going to use some spicy brown mustard. Plenty of it. Finally some orange marmalade. A jar from the grocery store will work or in this case I'm using some that I made myself. I'm going to use this entire jar, so about four ounces of orange marmalade, right on top of the mustard. And guys, that is it. We're going to place a lid on this crock pot. And I'm going to turn it on high and go do my day. Now's the perfect time to go tap the like button. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel. Six hours later, let's take a look and see what we've got. It's a beauty. I'm just gonna use some tongs. And you can already see what's happening. This meat just simply falls apart. The juice it's in is full of flavor and orange marmalade. And y'all, this can be used for so many different dishes. Let me show you what I'm gonna do with mine today. Now let's talk about cornbread. I've greased up an old cast iron corn stick maker that belonged to my mother. I've mixed up a box of Jiffy corn muffin mix and I'm going to get that poured into my cast iron mold. You can use regular or honey, but I kind of think the honey is almost a little bit too much. This is ready to go in the oven. I'm not great at getting these corn sticks pretty, so if you know a secret to doing that, please share it with me. Even though they're not that pretty, it doesn't affect the way they taste. So I'm going to lay down a couple of the sweet corn sticks and then top with a healthy amount of the orange pulled pork. I typically serve this dish with collard greens, but once you get it plated up, you can serve with any type of vegetable or side that you like. Delightfully sweet pork with a nice orange flavor and just a hint of that brown mustard. Here's a list of my favorite side dishes to accompany this dish and complement its sweetness. No matter how you serve it, I think your family's going to love this orange pulled pork and you are gonna love how easy it is. The different ways to serve this orange pulled pork are limitless. 
Other than serving this pork with corn sticks, some of my other favorite ways to enjoy it would be flautas, nachos, and little sliders made with Hawaiian sweet rolls. Really, the possibilities are only limited to your imagination. I truly hope you have a fantastic week ahead. I'm going to be back again with you real soon. In the meantime, turn off the TV, turn on some music, and just keep jamming.